What's up guys, Magic Knives here, and this is a Modern Warfare knife only gameplay on Talisic Backlot, and I uh, hope you enjoy. I get a advanced UAV which is pretty nice, but it sucks because I don't get any kills while it's up, and I just end up dying, which really sucks, but hope you can enjoy the gameplay regardless, and uh, I'm here to talk about Australia and its recent events in regards to Airsoft or specifically Gelsoft. If you don't know already, if you don't follow my channel enough as far as or as far as Airsoft goes, Australia has uh, this sport that mimics Airsoft which is called Gelsoft and what it is is essentially the same thing but instead of uh, plastic BBs um, the guns that they use fire these little water uh, gel balls and you know like it's it starts in this little powder form that you would pour into like water and eventually the water fills up all these tiny little particles or little beads I should say and it becomes the size of a of a like a, pa a of an airsoft BB and from there you can actually put it into a little uh, gel soft magazine if you will load it up and you can shoot like that just like an airsoft gun it's pretty straightforward not that complicated or anything which is actually it's pretty cool when you when you think about how it's how it actually works and all but the gel soft world has only been existing for apparently like two years or something like I don't even know ex exactly but it hasn't been around for that long but this was Australia's only way to play or mimic airsoft in their country because airsoft is illegal and banned in, in their country because of Australia's really really strict gun laws and the Australian people and the airsoft community even like globally was hoping that this would be a gateway for them to convince the Australian government to legalize airsoft and there's been a lot of debates about why the hell airsoft is even banned in Australia well unfortunately the news got worse because about almost a week ago the Australian government decided to outright ban Gelsoft and Gelsoft uh, blasters as a whole. And with that said, anybody who owns a Gelsoft gun, that is now considered a firearm now to the Australian government. And therefore, you are required to have a firearms license for it. And with that that also means that if you don't get if you don't go through the the whole ordeal and hassle of getting a firearms license with the required training that you have to take which is at least a few hundred dollars and get your your gel blaster registered you have to get it registered too which is another hundred dollars or something like that you will be criminalized and so like if you if you have it and you decide to shoot with it like you're not even allowed to shoot it in your backyard or anything like that anymore you have to go to an authorized paintball field in order to shoot it you if you take it out of your house you can be arrested and they give they are giving people up until April of 2021 to either get get a firearms license and getting their 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 gel blasters registered or they have to surrender it to the government much like how many people were were asked to surrender their firearms after the the Port Arthur massacre and whatnot but that's a whole other topic itself but you know this is this is just this was just a huge slap to the the underground airsoft community within Australia this was like this was like their 
their main gateway to hopefully legalize airsoft in the future for Australia. And it just got totally shunned by the by the Australian government by doing this, you know? And already this is sparking a huge rage within the, within the Australian community that wants to continue playing Gelsoft and you know hopefully legalize airsoft within Australia and so with that said uh, US airsoft uh, posted a video about this um, pretty recently so I will definitely leave a link in the description box of this video so please go check that out and listen to what he has to say there's all the more details about it and uh, on the interviews and news uh, videos about it so you can find out more information about that but for such a move by the Australian government to do such a thing to ban a, a, a toy gun the fact is that they've even banned certain nerf guns for that matter like can you believe they've actually banned nerf guns like it's honestly absurd like this just clearly shows their their agenda this is their political agenda and we're seeing it like we're literally seeing it unfold as it is right now so if you are if you are an airsoft player or if you're you're a fan of airsoft or if you you're just curious about this whole story I definitely encourage you to go check out and listen to the video by US airsoft and do some more uh, uh, research about it but you know there's already some some GoFundMe uh, sites and you know they're probably gonna have some petitions uh, lined up to hopefully raise fifty thousand dollars at least to hopefully fight back and take this to the Supreme Court of Australia and hopefully they'll be able to repeal this decision and continue on the path of hopefully legalizing airsoft in the future within Australia to anyone that is an airsoft f fan within Australia or in the air gelsoft community I wish you all the best of luck. I hope you get your voices heard. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out the video in the description. I hope to see you guys in my future videos. Peace out, guys.